Back again with another movie review. My name is Josh. Thanks for checking out the channel. And if you click the thumbnail, you're here to get a review for Trolls. Troll. Not Trolls. Troll. This is the new Netflix movie that just came out a couple days ago here on Netflix. Uh, and I have to tell you, I'm a big fan. <laughs> so I'm going to keep my review relatively brief just to give you a quick overview of certain things and key points. But basically, if you haven't heard about this movie, Why'd you click on the thumbnail firstly, but stop the, move, the, the review, go watch that one, and then come back. Actually, go ahead and watch it. It's fine. I'm going to try and not have any spoilers go through here. But basically, this movie that just came onto Netflix is a Scandinavian movie. I believe it's from Norway, from the director Roar Uthgog. I am so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but I also have to say that it, Roar, if that's how it's pronounced, R-O-A-R, -R, is an awesome first name. So... Bravo for your parents for the name, but also for the movie because I did thoroughly enjoy it. This is also the director. I believe he did The Wave and then another, it's not the other troll movie, but uh, The Wave is one I did very much appreciate. It was kind of a natural disaster, big movie, uh, creepy because confined spaces really kind of freaked me out and drowning too. I mean, go figure. But this one takes place, uh, I just mentioned there was another Troll Hunters movie that took place in, I believe also Norway, that was on Netflix is where I seen it years and years back. I think it was early, maybe 2010, something like that. And that one was more like a found footage movie uh, and actually got me more exposed to the actual Norwegian lore about trolls, not just the trolls from fairy tales and stuff that I've heard. And it was super cool. I watched that movie so many times, referred it to so many people. Really good, well made, good graphics. Good story, very good acting, the effects were fantastic, and uh, that one was really sweet. So I was interested when I first saw the trailer, which I reacted to on this channel, and I mean, firstly, I'm a huge monster person, so if they have some monsters in it, even if it's trolls or, you know, trolls are in one of my favorite Halloween movies of all time, Ernest Scared Stupid, Trantor, absolutely. Trolls are over here in America too, not quite as big and as cool as the ones over in Norway, but uh, this one definitely came out and I was like, I hope that one's... I hope it's as good as the first one, but I also didn't know if they were connected at all, and they're not connected, uh, at least to my knowledge. There's nothing directly in the movie that is, but this one is still fantastic. They're vastly different movies. One is much more of a, a lower budget found footage movie. The other one, this one, is much more of a spectacle movie. So this one, basically this one is like Norway's Godzilla, is how I interpret it, which to me is fantastic because I don't know if you know, I'm a huge Godzilla fan, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Any kaiju, big monsters, I love that stuff. And this one was no different. The actual story of it, it's not super unique in the fact that it's, uh, oh, this is how everything happened. It's kind of, again, really very much like Godzilla, where it's more of Mother Nature kind of talking back-ish, you know, where Godzilla was a response to some nuclear weapons and how that happened. This one takes place uh, in Norway in... I think the mountains of Dover or somewhere around that area. Again, if I pronounce anything wrong, I'm very sorry, but really pretty, really awesome looking. And they're doing some mining and stuff like that into the mountains and uh, awake something very large and it's on a mission. And then basically you're, the rest of your movie is kind of much like, again, I keep saying it, much like Godzilla or something else where, you know, you hire in the, the scientist or you fly them in. They, everybody kind of uh, goes over the different scenarios and then you track down whatever's going on and then eventually you find out it's a big freaking troll. No spoilers there, that was actually in the trailer. They showed a good bit in the trailer, but they didn't show everything, which I appreciate because there's a lot of stuff to this movie and I didn't really expect a lot of it. The, the main characters you have, you have a paleontologist and um, her reclusive father. There's an administrative assistant to the Secretary of State for Norway. Then you have another military guy, Captain Kirk. That's right, I get that joke. Captain Kirk, who um, is helping with the mission as well. And those are kind of like your main focal points there. You have the Prime Minister as well, and you have some other mustache twirling kind of a-hole political people that don't really listen to reason most of the time. But they all play their parts really well. A couple scenes where, you know, there's some again, motivational speeches or, you know, somebody's going on a tirade and it's just completely illogical, but, you know, I can look past that. This is definitely in line with something like, you know, I keep having to say it, but like a Godzilla movie. There's nothing wrong to be compared to Godzilla. I'm a little biased. The movie does a lot of good things. The graphics are really good. I thoroughly enjoyed what the troll looked like and the lore behind it. 
not going to give too much away, but the story of what the troll is actually doing and all the different things they try and do to uh, stop the troll and then, you know, fight with them, it's very interesting. They have a bunch of different things they try and do. And the story is a little bit more complex. You know, the troll is a thing from the world of the world, and it's doing what it's naturally supposed to do. So it's a very interesting, there's some global warming y kind of nature y political commentary in there where, and not in a bad way, but just saying that there are repercussions for what we do to the environment and nature, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. The ending is really pretty solid. Again, there, this has to be one of the bigger budget movies I've seen ever come out of Norway. Granted, I don't watch a lot of Nor Norwegian movies, but I highly recommend this one, and I hope they make more uh, either in this line or of this vein, you know, more similar movies for Netflix, so please do go out there and watch this movie. If you're at all enjoy trolls folklore about that seeing the norway scenery which is just really pretty or you like big monster movies that's also going to be fantastic so go check that one out and let me know what you think in the comment section i think honestly of the two they're vastly different movies the troll hunter movie and then the tr this troll movie they're vastly different i like them for different reasons i'm a huge found footage fan so i really like the troll one but this one if you take it much more of the you know, action extravaganza, it's still really good. So I'd probably give it a, I'm gonna give it a solid seven, maybe 7.5 out of 10 trolls. And that's pretty high because I think the only other troll movie that may be higher or just as high is Troll Hunter, the one I was just talking about, which is, but that's also because I've watched that one a lot of times and you know, had some time to dwell on it. Give me a little time with this one. Give me a little time with this one and we'll see. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go ahead hit that subscribe button if you would. That'd be fantastic. And as always, you're awesome. Peace out.